What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, father trainer manager, CEO of DHP, Devin Haney Promotions, Bill Haney, of undefeated two-division world champion, former undisputed lightweight world champion, now reigning WBC junior welterweight world champion, superstar boxer who is top 10 pound for pound best fighters in the world, and Devin the Dream Haney. Devin the Dream Haney is 31 wins, no loss and no draws, 15 wins by way of knockout, 25 years of age, five foot nine with a 72 inch army, right? Yesterday, two division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion, now reigning WBO junior welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is top 10 pound for pound best fighters in the world. And Tiafimo Lopez, superstar boxer, who is 19 wins, one loss, no draw, 13 wins by way of knockout. He is 26 years of age, five foot eight with a 68 inch armage. Tiafimo Lopez went on the zones Akin Barak show. Shouts out to Akin Barak. Tiafimo Lopez went on Akin Barak. And Tiafimo Lopez, he made some statements and some comments to which Tiafimo Lopez stated that. He personally contacted and called Devin Haney, right? And he had a master plan. And Devin Haney was unwilling to cooperate, right? And he stated that he tried to give Devin Haney game, right? And he tried to get Devin Haney on board to negotiate a deal to fight in Las Vegas, February 10th, he said, which would be Super Bowl Saturday. And he wanted to do it at the Spear in Las Vegas. The, if you don't know what the Spear is, it's the big ball, the big round ball, <laughs> right? And this is what Teofimo Lopez had to say. Let's listen. Executive, we try to make the Devin Haney fight. I contacted him. I got his number through a source. And what happened? Like, he said, no, he's his own boss and everything. And that he don't want to talk to me. But I'm like, wait, bro. But that's how Crawford and Spe Yeah, he was like, you ain't the boss. I ain't going to be talking to you because you're not your boss. Uh, your mm -hmm. boss is, is the bio father. And I'm like, I'm like, bro, um, even Spence is not the boss. He 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 actually gets his advisors with who is Al Heyman to help him with all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And yet Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence, they both talked on the phone and made the fight happen. Not only that, I screenshotted from LinkedIn, because I have LinkedIn, and I screenshotted Joe Fisher, who is the executive in Madison Square Garden, and Sal in a group chat and talking about, hey, I'm trying to get um I sold have Devin Haney. Hey, listen. This is a screenshot. This is what they told me. If I get this fight with you, they'll put us and host us in Las Vegas and open up for Madison Square Garden sphere. The sphere. And me and Devin Haney face each other at the Madison Square Garden sphere. So he said the sphere, right? Which is the big round ball. If you don't know what the sphere is in Las Vegas, um, it is a uh, state of the art, okay? To say the least. It is state of the art, to say the least, right? It's a state of the art. Uh, um, arena that's that's recently been built, okay, uh, and it's um, it changes it images and colors and and it's, sometimes it can look like Mars, sometimes it can look like the sun, um, and so that would be awesome. And I agree with Tiafimo Lopez that you know uh, um, him and Devin Haney could get together on their own and you know um, negotiate a deal to fight, right, on their own. So this is the sphere, right? It comes in many different shapes, sh sizes. I actually stayed, so that's the inside. You see how the inside looks? And that's the actual outside. This is the actual outside, but you see how they built the, the globe inside, the images. Uh, um, and it can look like the earth, you know, uh, uh, at, at times at night, it'll look like the earth, right? It's very, very beautiful, very state of the art. And it's right here in Las Vegas, right? Uh, if you look at it, right? 
beautiful, very state of the art, right? So Tiafimo Lopez is stating that he uh, uh, got in contact with the the because the sphere has connections with Madison Square Garden and top rank. Top rank is supposed to host the first boxing event at the sphere. And so um, he stated that he got in contact with them, right? And they were more than willing to stage the fight. So he says that he's exposing Devin Haney and the conversation he had, right? But in all reality, what he did was he revealed he had a conversation with the, the gentleman at the sphere, right? No doubt. But at the same token, right? You have to look at it from this standpoint. He still has a promoter in Bob Arrow. When he talks about, now he mentions this, here's where it gets, you know, uh, uh, twisted, right? Because he mentions Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford did not have a promoter. They don't have a promoter. They don't have limitations, right? They are flexible. Terrence Crawford has a, is network promotional free agent. Errol Spence is a network promotional free agent. Errol Spence has premier boxing champion founding advisor Al Heyman as an advisor, but he is his own promoter. That's why they was able to negotiate a fight and take it back to the networks and Al Heyman as an advisor to stage a fight on their network. But he don't have an obligation and top rank has to reserve the date and the venue because Tiafimo Lopez is not going to pay for the venue. Bob Aaron would have to pay for the venue. Okay, and he said on Saturday, February 10th, the day before the Super Bowl, top rank don't want an event and neither does Vegas the Saturday before the Super Bowl. They want it the Thursday. Hence the reason why Teofimo Lopez is fighting February 8th. The Thursday before the Super Bowl on Sunday. Because they want to host events other than boxing at on that Saturday right before the Super Bowl. So he's saying that he wants to do, which I give him credit for. And I agree with him 1000%. He should be taking that route. Right, they should take that route if they can negotiate on their own to get a deal done. That's what he attempted to do with George Cambosis. That's why Bob Aaron was highly upset, and that's why I went to a purse bid. Remember, Bob Aaron said Tiafimo Lopez and George Cambosis were in cahoots to stage a fight and not come to an agreement, as George Cambosis was quote unquote the IBF mandatory challenger for Tiafimo Lopez. Right. He was the IBF mandatory challenger. They could have went and and petitioned and they would have just fought normally. They didn't come to an agreement, as Bob Arum said, allegedly, in cahoots to let it go to a purse bid to get more money out of it. And so Bob Arum didn't want to pick up the fight because he didn't want the fight to begin with. And then it ended up going to a purse bid, top rank bid on the fight, 2.3 million. Then the zone top uh, matchroom and Eddie Hearn bid 3.2 million and Bob Aaron was highly upset because he knew that he informed the other promoters that Tiafimo Lopez was in cahoots right and so then out of nowhere Triller came and bid a whopping 5 million dollars for the fight right then Triller couldn't handle it it went to the next highest bidder uh, which was Matchroom and Eddie Hearn in the zone. And that's why he got an issue with Eddie Hearn in the zone because he's saying that uh, um, they were in cahoots is why he lost to George Cambosis. That's why him and Eddie Hearn are going. And Eddie Hearn is like, bro, you lost to George Cambosis. I didn't set it up for you to lose to George Cambosis, right? So now he's trying to do the same thing behind Bob Aaron's back with, Ed, with Devin Haney, which again, I agree with Tiafimo Lopez's game plan to go and negotiate deals with Devin Haney directly. The problem is why uh, Devin Haney is saying, you got to go to Bob Aaron because at the end of the day, it's still, no matter what they negotiate, they are not in a position like Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. The only one in that position is Devin Haney. You understand? 
the only one in position to be able to freely move and have the flexibility is Devin Haney. So Tiafima Lopez, quote unquote, says he was exposing Devin Haney by uh, releasing these uh, uh, screenshots. But he's showing screenshots, not sending messages to Bob Arum, but sending messages to the fear, the sphere in Madison Square Garden. Of course, they will host the event. They're going to say yes. But you still ultimately have to go to, like he's going to say in the messages, Bob Arum. So that's why Devin Haney is saying, bro, call Bob Arum. Because at the end of the day, who's going to pay the purses? Bob Arum. Who's going to secure the venue? Bob Arum in top rank. So listen, quote, Tiafima Lopez releases these screenshots. Tiafima Lopez, good afternoon, Joel. I have a business proposal I would like I would I would to I would like to talk to you about. How would you and, and the chairman of Madison Square Garden like to host Tiafima Lopez versus Devin Haney February 10th? I told you February 10th is the day before the Super Bowl at Madison Square Garden Sphere on Super Bowl weekend in, in fabulous Las Vegas. Question mark. Joe Fisher responds. Sal and I would be more than happy to talk with you about this. We have already started to have conversations with top rank with you being the first fight at the fair. So they having conversations with top rank. So he's letting Tiafimo Lopez know we're having conversations with top rank already. Uh, 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 he said Haney has been mentioned as a potential opponent for this fight. We also, so which means they had Bob Arum is having conversations. We also have a headline headlining the garden on December 9th. Heisman night. What's the best number to reach you at? We also have you headlining the garden on December 9th, Heisman Night. What's the best number to reach you at? And we'll call you now. Which means that Bob Arum already had it in position and in place while Teofimo Lopez is doing this to set up the fight with Devin Haney behind Bob Arum back as Bob Arum is scheduling him to fight December 9th at Madison Square Garden, Heisman Night, which we heard about, right? So as Bob Arum is negotiating these deals, with these same people that's letting him know they're, they're in conversation with Bob Arum, he's trying to negotiate with Devin Haney, which I love because he's taking control of his own career. He's taking control of the reins. I love it. But at the end of the day, how are you going to get around it? Devin Haney's not your mandatory. If Bob Arum says no, how are they fighting? They can't because he's under contract. So Tia Fimo responds and says, sounds amazing. Here's my cell number. So that's the, the conversation that Tia Fimo Lopez released. And he goes, here's the proof I tried to, I once again tried to fight with Devin Haney during the fallout with Regis. Enough is enough with all your fake joining together uh, to make false narratives. So here's the thing. This was in December. They had him already scheduled to fight in December, the same day Devin Haney fought Regis Progray in San Francisco, December 9th. Right? And he moved the date. And tried to have it December, uh, February 10th, Super Bowl weekend, which is a great idea. I love the idea of him having to fight Super Bowl t weekend with Devin Haney at the Sphere. I'm all, I'm, I'm more than open to that. I would love for them to do that. And I would love for them to take control. But you didn't expose anything because you're not in position to do that. When you mention in Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence can freely move where he so chooses. He chooses to stay loyal to top, uh, to Al Heyman and Showtime. But Errol Spence, like many other PBC fighters, like Sean Porter, was with Showtime and, and, and uh, um, PBC, but he went to top rank to fight Terrence Crawford. Like Deontay Wilder's with the PBC and Showtime, but he went to top rank at ESPN to fight Tyson Fury. So they can do that. Teofimo Lopez cannot. So you have to concede to top rank Bob Arum and ESPN. So exposing you picking a date and wanting to fight the sphere doesn't mean that top rank and ESPN was going to air it. Because ESPN is going to air the coverage of the Super Bowl on Saturday. So it all sounds good if you don't understand. But you think ESPN is going to cover boxing Super Bowl Saturday? They're going to be covering the, the medias. They're going to be covering all types of things with the Super Bowl. 
Hence the reason why Top Rank and Bob Arum want and ESPN want the fight on Thursday. Three days before the Super Bowl. Just to have an event there. As Bob Arum said, they asked, ESPN asked Bob Arum and Top Rank to have the fight that Thursday. Because they didn't want to in interfere. So you think that Top Rank and ESPN Get this now. I want y'all to pay attention. Do you think that Top Rank and ESPN is going to secure the spear? Do you understand how much money that's going to cost to secure the spear on Super Bowl weekend? Fly everybody out on Super Bowl weekend. Have a pay-per-view event on Super Bowl Saturday. You think they're going to take that chance? They're going to have a pay... Devin Haney and Tiafimo Lopez going to be on free TV? Of course not. So Devin Haney and Tia Fima Lopez are going to be on pay-per-view. You think they're going to fly out everybody that weekend. Do you know the cost for a boxing event? On Saturday night. And then the Super Bowl is the next day. Make it make sense. Do you know how much it costs top rank to put people in hotels? Super Bowl weekend. That's why they're doing it on Thursday. Because they'll fly everybody in the, the week. During the week, and everybody will be leaving on Friday or, or or on Thursday night. Period. And like Bob Arum said, they didn't plan to host anything on Super Bowl weekend. He said ESPN called them to host the fight on that Thursday. That's why they're doing it. And he's gonna fight Jermaine Ortiz on non pay per view. Make it make sense. I like the idea of what Tia Fimo Lopez is trying to do. But the reality is, it's not realistic and you didn't expose anything. You had the conversation, but like Devin Haney said, you have to go back to Bob Arum. I can negotiate with you all I want. Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford was able to do that because they were network promotional free agents, period. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All my word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.